In this video, you will learn what are polynomials. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master topics on algebra, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, before we have a look at simplifying polynomials, if you guys haven't had a look at the video on polynomials, go check the video out before you have a look at this video. So simplifying polynomials is basically when similar terms can be combined to make the polynomial simpler. So you may ask, how do we simplify polynomials? To simplify polynomials, all you need to do is combine like terms. You do it by combining like terms. You may ask, what are like terms? They're terms with the same variable parts. What do we mean by terms with the same variable parts? Most people may think that 3z raised to the power of 2 and 2z raised to the power of 3 are like terms because they both have z in their variable part. But the thing is, in the first term, the variable part is z raised to the power of 2. In the second term, the variable part is z raised to the power of 3. And we know that z raised to the power of 2 and z raised to the power of 3 are not the same because they're raised to different powers. So therefore, they're not the same, which means the first term and the second term they're not like terms. 3z raised to the power of 2, 2z raised to the power of 3 are not like terms. So when combining like terms, the terms must have the same variable path. It must be exactly the same. So to understand this better, let's have a look at some examples. And the first one we're going to have a look at is 5y and 3y. With this, we can say that both of them have y as their variable path. And we know that y and y are the same. So therefore, these are like terms. And which means we can combine 5y and 3y to make it simpler. When combining these two, you will get 8y. So let's have a look at another example, such as 5y and 3x. Are these like terms 5y as y as its variable part, 3x as x as its variable part? And we know that y and x are not the same. So this means these are not like terms. And because these are not like terms, which means we cannot combine these two to make it simpler. So let's have a look at another example. The example we have is 6x raised to the power of 5 and 3x raised to the power of 5. And as you guys could see, we have x raised to the power of 5 as both of our variables. And we know that x raised to the power of 5 is the same. So therefore, these are like terms. Because these are like terms, we can combine these two to give us an answer of 9x raised to the power of 5. So what if we have an example like this? 6x raised to the power of 5 and minus 3x raised to the power of 8. You guys may wonder whether these are like terms. We have x raised to the power of 5 and x raised to the power of 8 in our variable part. So we have the variable parts as x raised to the power of 5 and x raised to the power of 8. And as we said before, these are not like terms because we know that x raised to the power of 5 and x raised to the power of 8 are not the same because like terms must have the variable parts exactly the same. So therefore, we cannot combine these two to make it simpler. So what if we have an example like this? 6xy and minus 4yx. Some of you may think that this is not like terms, but what if I tell you these are like terms? You guys may wonder why. In the first term, the variable part is xy. Second is yx. If you remember, we said that xy is basically the same as x times y, and yx is the same as y times x. And we know that there is something of commutative property that helps us when it comes to multiplication. And we know that when it comes to multiplication, we can swap things over, but the sum will still remain the same. So we have yx. Even if we swap these two, we have xy. And we know that y times x and x times y are the same. So that means we could combine these two terms. And when we combine them, obviously we have minus 4xy. So that's something to remember. Because of that, we will get 2xy. Now, let's have a look at the final example we're going to have a look at, which is 4y raised to the power of 2x and 4y x raised to the power of 2. Some of you may think, these are like terms, just like we saw in the previous video. But the variable bit is y raised to the power of 2x and yx raised to the power of 2. And we know that 
these are not the same. Because we know that the first term, the y is being raised to the power of 2. And the second term, the x is being raised to the power of 2. And since in the first term, the y is being raised to the power of 2, and in the second term, the x is being raised to the power of 2, they are not the same. So therefore, these are not like terms, and which means we cannot combine these two to make it simpler. Now, let's have a look at simplifying actual polynomials. And the first example we're going to have a look at is y squared plus 8x plus 2x minus 2z. And in this example, as you guys could see, we can find two like terms. We can find 8x and 2x. These are the two like terms we can find. Because they're like terms, we can combine these two, and we combine these two, we get 10x. So therefore, we get a simplified polynomial of y squared plus 10x minus 2z. So let's have a look at another example. 13 minus 3z squared minus 8 plus 2x. And in this, some of you may think we can't find any like terms. But if you notice, we have two constant terms, which are 13 and negative 8. So because we have two constant terms and because these are also like terms, 13 and minus 8, we can obviously simplify this polynomial down. Because we have 13 and minus 8, we get 13 minus 8, which will give us, obviously, a positive 5. So therefore, our new polynomial will be minus 3z squared plus 2x plus 5. Now, let's have a look at simplifying this polynomial we have. To 6z squared plus 8z minus 2z squared plus 7 plus 3z minus 6. And some of you guys may think this polynomial is quite difficult because it has lots of terms. But the thing is, if you do it properly, it will be very easy. So let's start off by combining or simplifying the constant terms. The constant terms in this polynomial is positive 7 and negative 6. So positive 7 and negative 6 can be simplified. And when you simplify them, you're basically doing plus 7 minus 6. And plus 7 minus 6 will give you positive 1 or plus 1. A thing to always remember, cross out the ones you've simplified. Because this will mean the question is much more easy to do and it's less confusing. So the next thing we're going to simplify is going to be positive 8z and positive 3z. And when you simplify these two, you're obviously going to get positive 11z because positive 8z plus positive 3z will just give you positive 11z. And once again, cross out the ones you simplified. Now, we can move on to the next two, which are 6z squared and minus 2z squared. And obviously, we have minus 2z squared, we have negative. So when simplifying these two, it's obviously going to be a bit different because we have a negative term. 6z squared minus 2z squared will be 4z squared. And once again, cross out the ones, cross out both of them. So we get 4z squared plus 11z plus 1 as our answer. Now to learn more on algebra, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.